Hello again, I am Teacher May. Now, we will study about science. Okay. We will study, you will learn different types of, uh, and forms of energy. First, we have the kinetic energy. It is the energy in motion. It is the energy which can move things. Okay. Look here. The energy of the wind can move leaves. It can move what the branches or the trees. It can also move ball and an arrow. Then next is the potential energy. It is the energy stored in an object, any object at rest meaning object that is not moving. So we call that potential energy. Here are the examples. Rubber band, you are aiming. That is potential energy. You're just aiming. You don't release it yet. So next, a ball, you are aiming, planning. To shoot, you are not shooting yet. You are not letting go. You are still holding the ball. That is potential energy. Now, what's the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy? Look here. Okay. In this picture, your the girl is just holding a ball. When she released it, when she dropped the ball, that is the kinetic. Again, again, I'm wrong. Kinetic energy. No? When you are still holding the ball, you are not releasing the ball. That is potential energy. But once you let go, of the ball that is kinetic energy or more example. Go mm. and arrow, an arrow. You are not yet releasing an arrow, not yet. You are just holding or aiming an arrow that is potential energy. Once you release it, that is kinetic energy. I hope you understand. Now, there are different forms of energy. One is chemical energy. Okay. It is the energy stored in molecules like what? The coal a gas and wood. Okay. Chemical energy is used in fuel. Oh, look at the first picture. Diba? We use this when we cook, when we heat anything. And we use gas or few uh, gas in our cars, jeepneys, vehicle. And this is also used, what, in cooking. All of these three can be burned. Chemical energy says that it sustains life. How? Photosynthesis. 
diba? Meaning, plants make their own food. They make glucose, this one. And now, that is the energy in the plant. Once this carabao eat the plant, then the energy from this plant will be transferred, will be transferred to the carabao. So that's why chemical energy sustains life. It is also used to generate electricity. How? See? This battery lights the bulb. Okay, here. This is how uh, chemical energy generates electricity. This one here, it is coal. See? Because of this coal, we have we have electricity. Okay. It is it also produces sounds and light. How? Example. Okay. You see, we, we have this, we see this every new year. Once you like this, it will what? These things, these fire crackers will make or produce sounds and light. We see this every new year, lots of these. Now, we have the mechanical energy. It is the energy Possessed by moving object. It is stored in objects by the application of force. How? Okay. Wedge. Wedge is an example of mechanical energy. When you use this with force, it can uh, crack, it can cut wood. And also, this one, the lever. When you use, when, when a force is used here, it can move object. And also, the screw. When you use sport, uh, force, you can use the screw well. Now, what are the uses of mechanical energy? It makes, it helps our work easier and faster. How? Look at the examples. Sewing machine. Sewing machine using the sewing machine is a lot easier than sewing your clothes like this. Biking is much faster, will bring you to the place where you want to go much, much faster than when we walk. And the windmill, it gives what? Uh, energy or su sustain us with this. Okay. Okay, I hope you understand our lesson in energy. Again, thank you and God bless. Yay!